three, two, one. You ready? You're listening to the Real Pineapple Podcast Network. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. This is the Real Pineapple. This is your humble host, Hunter, here, and I'm here with Scott. Scott, how you doing, sir? Excellent, Hunter. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, but I'm confused, and I'll tell <laughs> you why I'm confused. Because we are talking about the first trailer for Space Jam: A New Legacy. Oh which boy. Star- yeah, and so Scott, uh, you have just like you literally just watched this um, for the first time, correct? And sure. I've watched the trailer like two or three times. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna save your thoughts here for just a second. Okay. Uh, um, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't, That's, honestly. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. I I, I, I broke the rules. Go ahead. I just I don't know what this is and i just and i just i have to put it like that because i watch this trailer and look this is a movie i cannot stress enough i do not think should be fucking happening like when they announced this i went why Why? like i just don't know why you go back now look let's be clear space jam is a relic of its time. There was definitely plot holes up the yin yang with that shit. Like I'm not even gonna try to pretend that's not. But people love Space Jam, and while Jordan will never be accused of being a Oscar winning actor, they did a good job of incorporating his actual retirement into the film, which mm-hmm. actually gave it some emotional weight. Right. Um. Because he was playing baseball at the time. It, exactly, and it lost his dad and everything. I stand by what I've been saying. I think Steph Curry would have been a much better choice for the star in this versus LeBron. But this is just kind of what I expected in the sense of, oh, LeBron's having a argument with his child, which makes him look like a pretty shitty parent, to be honest. <laughs> like, to start the trailer off, like, you never let me do what I want, Dad. You never let me do me. And it's like, well, shut up, son. <laughs> do what i want like it it's a bit it's a bit insane to to be honest and so so for for you like so trailers about excitement right building hype like for you you didn't think this should be made so this trailer for you would have had to really blown you away and or 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 presented you with something that you weren't expecting it would have needed to do enough to not make me feel feel concerned and like <laughs> yeah. and here's the thing i don't hate this trailer like there's no part of me i was like oh i fucking hate this shit but did this this looks like a kid's ver sorry a more kid's version of ready player one but mm-hmm. with warner brothers just whoring out a bunch of their properties to be like look what we own which mm-hmm. i mean you know fuck disney does it but i mean they're a little they're sometimes a little more subtle than this shit is this just seems very calculated but Mm -hmm. not in a good way on that front and the writing team behind it so here's the thing man they've got justin lynn who has written directed several big uh several big hits i mean whether it's you know uh the 20 uh, the 09 fast and furious fast five uh ryan coogler black panther ryan coogler fruitville station Creed 1 and 2, Ryan Coogler. He's a producer mm-hmm. on this. Um, so does that give you producer. hope, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be real, man. I'm so... <sighs> okay. Now, maybe LeBron wants to get this made because, look, LeBron, despite my feelings on him uh, as the GOAT, he's not, by the way, uh, <laughs> but despite my feelings on LeBron as a basketball player, I understand LeBron has a brand, and I understand LeBron clearly wants to expand that mm-hmm. brand to Hollywood. Maybe LeBron wants to do this movie so he can be animated, so he can have a consistent hairline for once. Uh, maybe that's Damn. why. Maybe that's why this is being made. Going for but, the low blows, but dude, come on, man! <laughs> like, let's be real. Like, it's been six years since he's had hair. Like, don't be a black Hulk Hogan, all right? <laughs> Just like shave that shit, but. 
but LeBron, like I said, man, he's a charismatic dude. I, to an extent, I get it. But this is just, there's no monsters in this, presumably. Um, right. The whole kind of concept that they live in this penthouse and the AI for the elevator puts him on this floor where they, the sun gets kicked. Like, that's a bit of a leap, like, even for a Space Jam movie. Now, let's, like, I, I will reel us in here. <laughs> we okay, are talking right. about Space Jam. Which we are, we are. Michael Jordan gets sucked down a golf ball hole. But at least they and were following him on his like routine. This just seems like a fair. very they were random, looking for they were looking out for him. Yeah, this seems like a very random occurrence of this AI just going, yes. Well, I can apparently <laughs> manipulate computers and just suck mm-hmm. your son in. Like now, I will say I do appreciate like you get someone like Don Cheadle, you know, Academy mm-hmm. Award nominated actor Don Cheadle, uh Golden Globe Tony winning. Don Cheadle's a badass. And he's his floor for performance. He's great in pretty much everything he's fucking in, so I think getting him as the villain was a very smart choice because at least you have someone who can kind of anchor LeBron as far as, you know, his lack yeah. of acting ability. Mm-hmm. Um, But the more I watch this trailer, and again, I've seen it like three or four times, confusion is just kind of where mm-hmm. I keep landing. Like, again, I don't hate this, but I'm sitting there watching it going... You're not showing me anything in this first trailer that makes me go, oh, this totally justifies the film's mm-hmm. existence because no. <laughs> I, I just... think it's I think it's important with these to keep them simple in a way. Like simple enough to where it's it's like the first one, like we're I don't want to get too far ahead because we don't really know what's actually gonna happen in this movie. But True. like simple to the point where like it's about the basketball game like the first one was very much like it it was it was it, it appears far simpler like just yes. just this trailer i agree with you when first watching it i didn't i got to the end i was like what what just happened i don't really know <laughs> like i know they're getting to the the basketball part of this eventually right like but it's it doesn't really get to that point it's more about like this uh, alternate world alternate universe it seems like that that they're creating with Don Cheadle being like the uh, overlord of it um yeah i just conf- i i agree it it's confusing i don't i'm not really sure what to make of it you know and like you know, there's still part of me that's a kid that sees, you know, the Looney Tunes, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Like, let's let's get after it with Bugs and yeah. fucking Tweety and Taz and all of that. And I hope it does. But it's, it's I don't know, it's hard because we're, we're, we're kind of children of a similar era when, like, you know, uh, the first one came out. And it was kind of endearing, and we were younger when we saw it. And, like, maybe these those little plot holes didn't really... They didn't. They weren't caught up on us like they would be now. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to to weigh them on this on a similar scale, if that makes sense. It, it um, does. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll. See. I mean, it's very like futuristic. It kind of looks cool. Like I kind of. I I don't hate how it looks. Like. Um, so but there's a lot go. There's a lot going on. So just rewinding parts of the trailer. Um, yeah, I'm looking through it again. I'm kind of going shot by shot throughout this thing. So, yeah, his. <laughs> I, I really just love this kid's cry for help. LeBron going like, what happened? <laughs> like, that makes me that does make me laugh. So while we're kind of looking through this, I do have to bring up the director who is uh, Malcolm D. Lee. Now, uh, Malcolm D. Lee is a person of color. I just have to point this out for. The preface what I'm about to say. <laughs> because he's done some stuff I really fucking enjoy. He did uh he did the best man, um, which uh which has you know Ter- Terrence Howard, Tay Diggs, Neil Long, fine ass Neil Long, but uh Best Man's a great movie back in 99. He did an Undercover Brother, which is one of my favorite mm, fucking movies yeah, ever. Classic. Um and he did uh one of the few good bow wow movies. He did Roll Bounce, which is actually really good. But then he did Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, which is a piece of shit. He did Scary Movie 5, which is not good. Mm-hmm. Barbershop, The Next Cut, it's aight. He did The Girl's Trip, which I really enjoy. 
But then he did Night School with Kevin Hart and uh, mm, Tiffany was, Hedge. And Night School was on my was worst terrible. stuff that year. I fucking hate Night School. Yeah, that's the last thing that he. Review. That's the last thing he directed. So pardon me if I'm not filled with glee <laughs> with him taking off Space Jam. But I don't know, man. Like looking back through the trailer, it's an. I think I don't think the setup. Okay, the setup isn't garbage. Like while I think it's dumb. I think you could flesh. I think you could flesh out mm-hmm. the uh, the overall premise. What I actually loved, and I mean loved, is the part in the trailer where LeBron is just falling between these different worlds. Yeah, I think that's actually really done. Uh, well yeah, I, done. no, I think I think they should lean into the whole multiverse thing. It's like not only really popular right now, but like people are like it's. Like there's a there's a Westeros city he flies like the Game yeah. of Thrones he flies past you and see, yeah you see Game of Thrones you see Gotham you see the Gotham. bat you see the bat yep. signal there mm-hmm. um, I I really I was like oh wow that's actually pretty cool that they're just you know they're leaning this I think Dom Cheadle I think Dom Cheadle being an AI because you know we talk about uh, and I don't want to give you P- uh, PTSD flashbacks but we think about back to something like the Emoji movie. This could actually, so. yeah, I know, but you, but but we, talk yeah, I know about, what you mean. Yeah, we talked about at length about how it's like, oh, there's Spotify and there's this and like how right. horror shed is. Right. They could at least work that somewhat to a plot here and not be, you know, so dumb. I, I see a world where that works. Mm-hmm. My, the thing that I actually really love, I love that we get old school 2D. Uh, Looney Tunes animation. Yeah, that was something me too. I went. I was like, "Oh, hell yeah, cool!" Now, yeah. <laughs> admittedly, how would LeBron know to just put his thumb in his mouth and just <laughs> blow himself up? Like, all right, apparently, apparently, he, this has happened before. <laughs> but, um, but looking which at is the, which is kind of classic, you know? It is. Like, it is. You, you know, Jordan kind of did that when he got there and kind of discovered what he couldn't couldn't do there. But yeah, know. fair. Po- yeah, fair point. But. I, uh, but the, the Wiley Coyote and not Wiley Coyote, uh, Yosemite Sam, that gag of shoot the ball, that made me laugh, genuinely laugh out loud. I went, okay, yeah. I, I, that, that's actually good. Um, the thing that I'm gonna, and again, we don't know how the film's gonna go, but goddamn, dude, I don't understand what is the reasoning for having all these franchises just pop up. Like, are they, is it just a giant, like, is it a battle royal between everything? <laughs> Or well, I think it's I think it's like a it's it's like a Warner Brothers universe like they're like they're it's a literal Warner Brothers universe so it's like that's where all the characters live I assume I mean I assume I have no idea yeah but I I think it's like but yeah they're they're really they're really punching that home that like there's so many different characters to choose from and characters in general like. That it seems like it's a it, it it could end up being like pandering in a way of like ooh you like remember the Iron Giant you know King Kong which um, I would like to point out the Flintstones man, Warner Brothers barely acknowledged the Iron Giant until like ten years ago <laughs> so them going like oh we love the Iron Giant now it's like I'm sorry where is this when the film came like the film fucking came out like that right. that actually bothered me if I'm being honest I was like really. Also, it looks exactly like the shot in Ready Player One. Like the Iron Giant in particular looks exactly Which is which is what, you know, the very it's like everyone is is calling this Ready Player One. You know, this is like the the whole the, you know, the beginning, like because they they in the trailer they show how he gets there and it's like he like goes up to him and is like, what's this? Fucking Matrix shit. Yeah. What, what in the what in the Matrix? What, what in the Matrix? Motherfucker. What? Yeah. And oh, oh, like okay. If LeBron drops a motherfucker, it's a B plus by <laughs> <Yeah>. default. <laughs> they should have just made this an R rated movie and just went for it. Um, but like that whole thing, like I, I hope. I don't know. I'm like I'm 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 conflicted because I'm like, what do I want to see out of this? Because. Space Jam, the original one, is is ridiculous, right? It's oh, just absolutely! Like, it's it's completely ridiculous. So it's like, what a what 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 I would be willing to say the same thing about the first one, but this, but I think what makes the first one so endearing is that like they kind of st- stay in their lane. Yes, um, 
a good way. And I, I hope that that's how they do this. Now, with the whole, like, what I was saying, the Matrix thing, he kind of gets sucked into it. Like, you can't just, you can't just create this, like, thing and just maybe not explain it. Obviously, again, we don't know. But, like, I hope they don't get too complicated. But the, the way that this trailer went, it seems like a lot. Yeah, so, I mean, I paused it at the uh, minute 46 mark. So there's, if you notice on the uh, the Tron or whatever, there's a thing that says followers, 823,110. Mm-hmm. I didn't so notice that. So is that something where, so I'm going to be real, man. If this is all just about the, the AI getting more followers or some shit like that, I'm going to be really irritated. But like, if that's, if that's what this is all for, I'll I'm going to be. I'll bet. It. That's a, you know what? Damn. Dude. Like maybe that's why he wants them to play. He's like, he wants them to play so that that they can get more popular. Yeah, and that would really bother me. If that's all this is about. That would that would genuinely irritate me. So <laughs> I'm really hoping that's not what they're pulling, but I I'm I'm concerned. We'll see. About that. We, 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 shall we will see. see. So we do have to talk about the players. For the goon mm-hmm. squad, which all right, not bring the monsters back. I, I okay, fine. <laughs> but and I'll be real, man. I think you actually, and this would be taking a shot at Jordan, but let's be real, man. If if you have LeBron and you bring the monsters back, you could have part of the plot be uh that oh, we beat, you know. Like we we uh, lost to Michael Jordan, but you're not as good, Jordan. Like you could actually lean right. into that. Like seriously, right. I would actually make fun done of yourself, that. kind of. Yeah, yeah. I actually would have done that personally. But the the players on the Goon Squad, so the one with the eyebrows is Anthony Davis. Shocker. Um, <laughs> now his eyebrows actually look separated more in the cartoon than <laughs> in real life. Um, Damian Lillard looks like a metal mime, <laughs> which, mm-hmm. is, which is kind of funny to me. Um, Diana Tra- uh, Tarazi, who is on the, uh, I, I think she was on the Storm, on the uh, Seattle Storm. I can't remember if it's the Storm or the Fever she's on now, but I'm a fan of hers. And I'll, I'll be real, dude. I don't think they, I think her character model by far looks the least like her. <laughs> that was something I was like, wow, you didn't even doesn't seem like you even fucking tried. That's kind of mm-hmm. shitty. Um, yeah. Which does need to be called out. And then uh, I'm not even going to tr- oh, fuck this name. Uh, NECA. <laughs> you, want to, you want to take a shot, man? <laughs> uh, I'm on the I'm on the uh, directors right now. Let's o- see. O- Oju. I'm, I'm sorry, girl. I can't say your last name. But yeah, she's on there. And then. Clay Thompson apparently is playing the Human Torch, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, man, this is just one of those. It's one of those things I go, all right. Yes, there's a lot of there's a lot of characters here. There's a lot of characters here, and I'm just um, and I'm just pausing just to look through some o- of them. Ogwu Mike Og Mike. Perfect. We'll go with that. <laughs> 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 but if you look around, man, you like you see you see Mister. F- I saw Mister Freeze. I saw uh-huh. um, a dragon from Game of Thrones. I saw multiple versions of the Penguin. I see Fred Flintstone. Saw the Joker. Yep. Um, I saw Pennywise in a shot. Like yep. like they like Warner Brothers is whoring their shit out. They're like, hey, look at everything we own. Which I mean. Who's the fucking shark? Who's that shark guy? Oh, God, I should know that. Um, oh, was, it's Hanna-Barbera. Like, yeah, I was just going to say Hanna-Barbera one. Oh, uh, I, I, I cannot think of it right now. Um, oh, Jabberjaw. Like, that, that's right. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I really should know off the top of my head. Bad me. But, yeah, man, there's a lot here. Like, and, and the other thing I will say, too. I thought the in the concept art that the Toon Squad jerseys looked like shit. Like I, I hated. I they, I thought they looked like second rate. Those new Miami Heat uniforms that they use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Vice ones. Yeah. <sighs> While I won't say that these look good, the designs kind of worn me down a little bit. <laughs> like yeah, I don't. I don't hate them. 
Yeah, like, like I again, like is too strong, but I have been kind of like, well, okay. Now, something we do have to point out to, uh, first off, <laughs> uh, at the 202 mark, that Nike load, that Nike swoo is right there on that 202. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, don't forget who helped pay for this shit. <laughs> like, yeah, LeBron ain't paying for this. That's yeah, crazy. yeah, fuck that. And I actually do appreciate that Zandaya is voicing mm-hmm. Lola Bunny. I actually think that's yeah. actually really. Now, first off, they took away your boobs and your ass. Ha- hashtag not my Lola, but. <laughs> hashtag cancel culture. Right. Hashtag restore the. <laughs> hashtag Lola. <cut. laughs> but I. What's the world coming to when you can't jerk off to a cartoon bunny? Right? right. I know. God, what's happening? <laughs> Not a world I want to live in. But, <laughs> but, and so I do have to point out too, at the 206 mark, his son is on, it looks like he's on their bench. Is on the, right, uh, so, because they both get sucked in there, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So. Oh, but he's on the, he's on the other bench. Exactly. And that's, inter- that is actually the most mm. interesting part. Story like, within the story. Yeah, like, is he playing against his dad? Is that how he... He Does learns, he dunk like, on his dad? Does he teabag his dad? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Does he just keep pointing to his hair and be like, remember we had this? <laughs> Damn, Hunter. Dude, LeBron's hairline's bad, man. Like, I, I, I Yeah, get, no, yeah, it's a well-known fact. I like, I get, you know, come on, man. It's just, just, you know... It's, and then they it's, they it's threw fine. in the they threw in the heat like the D Wade, um, LeBron alley oop dunk, um, yes, clearly. with Lola, which is which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, I'll give him that. I can't really hate on that, but we'll we'll see what if there's anything anything else worth worth watching in this. Oh one. shit! I see Space Ghost at two thirteen. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> um, so maybe all these properties or or spectators maybe Mm -hmm. you know i mean i mean there were spectators in the first game and the last thing i will point out i love i actually love the 3d renderings for the toon squad actually they they look good i was like okay so again this this film by no means is you know like this trailer is like devoid of good stuff but right but it's it's a surprising there's a surprising a bit of stuff that I just go, I don't know what the fuck is happening here, which mm. I guess is kind of a good thing. Um, well, they have the clockwork orange guys yes. in the background. Yeah, that uh, was the next one. And uh, you can tell, you can see the mask at like 219. So I, so there have been oh, rumors. Oh, they've got the ice, the ice king. They have um, from Game of Thrones. And the same at uh, two twenty three on the left. Two twenty three. Oh yeah, yeah. That's funny. They do. Actually. Um. So I mean, look, yeah. and you, you know, you've got Scooby Doo on top there, uh, yep. of the Mystery Machine. Like, mm-hmm. so you've got Harley Quinn actually on the top right there. Um. So I mean, look, this could be fun. This could genuinely because, be fun. You know, you you. I can. I feel like I can speak for you. Where we're we're fans of the Looney Tunes, like absolutely, like, like we. That's what's one of the most enjoyable parts of the first one is that it's mostly Looney Tunes, like, and and the Tune Squad is like what really makes it, and everybody's kind of character comes into play here. So I hope that they really lean into that. Like I hope that they use that to carry this movie, like they did in the first one, personally. Yeah, and and I think I think there's a world that does happen, but I, I will be the first to admit, man, I there is a lot of ways. There's actually about a dozen ways this movie could just fall into the ocean. I, I yeah. fully acknowledge that. But at the same time, as much as again, I do not like LeBron. I told LeBron he sucks to his face. <laughs> like I just like hopefully this game doesn't come down to free throws. But I, <laughs> but but. I will say, as much reverence as I do have for the first Space Jam, and I actually started watching the first one last night, and uh, and I was actually having quite a bit of fun still watching it. I hope this does hit for kids in the same way that the original hit for us. Because, you know, I want kids to actually be entertained and not, you know, 
tortured by the film that they watch that would actually always be a nice thing. So I hope this works for kids, but I will be the first to admit um, I am concerned. I am really concerned about yep. this. Um, and I think it didn't, it's, it didn't really like it didn't really like alleviate like some of my concerns. That's a really perfect way to put it is yes, it did not alleviate my concerns. It, it has me mildly intrigued. But again, I also see this does have four writers, man. Like that's that sometimes that does work to a, a benefit of the film. Sometimes it does not. Um, I, I actually haven't even brought up the other uh, the other screenwriter. So Justin Lin, I ever talked about, you know, Fast and Furious films. Um, this other guy, Willie uh, Ebersol, this is his first time being involved writing a script. Um, that is also the case with Andrew Dodge, who's only written one other film, which I actually really enjoyed. I don't know if you remember it. It's the one with Jason Bateman, uh, Bad Words. Do you remember that one? Did you ever see that? Um, I... It, the title sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you that that I've seen it. Okay. And then uh, Alfredo Botello, the only thing he's written uh, outside of this is... Uh, the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which is by far the worst oh, yeah. one besides... I disagree. I love Wait, that one. Really? Oh, dude, I hate that one because Bow Wow <laughs> sucks in that shit. <laughs> I, oh, God, I do not like, I do not like Tokyo Drift. Um, anyways, but... So, I don't know, man. This... I'm did they, very... Did, did, Warner Brother, did Warner Brothers do Tokyo... Did the Fast and the Furious... Is yeah, that Fox? I, I, I think that I think that is that I think that is Fox actually. Okay. No, um, no, no, no. That's Universal. Pardon me. Okay, because uh, if not, I was like, they should throw that into this movie. At then, this point, why then the you've got that? a film, right? <laughs> but I don't know, man. I'm I'm weirdly intrigued by this. Is what I will say. Um, again, I see a world where this completely fucking sucks, but. I'm I'm willing to be pleasantly surprised. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hope I am pleasantly surprised by uh, what this is. But we're gonna see, man. This comes out July, so we're about three months away, actually, from it. Um, I don't know if I'll go to a theater to see this because I'll be real, man. I I just don't know if I want to pay for a little. <laughs> I might just get ho- get really you high. Just put a just- disclaimer at the bottom of this in the comments that says, "I fucking hate LeBron," but I, I do. here's the trailer. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't like LeBron. Like I said, man, I I, I actually started watching uh, the Shop recently, and he's in, to his credit, man, he's a damn good interviewer. Like I, I genuinely have to give him credit for that. But- he's, listen, he's a he's a great dude. He's like he. You know, you can we can go on about his contributions to like you know Cleveland and things like that, but we're talking about the movie here. So. We we are, and like, like we'll I said, see. yeah, and like I said, man, like credit words do, man. He's a great ambassador for basketball for social issues. So I will always give LeBron credit on that, and he's great in Trainwreck. Uh, him and Bill Hader work really well together, but uh, yeah, I mean, he is starring in the film, man. So we're we're gonna have to see. Um, yep. I will say too, and, and I and I had the same criticism about the first Space Jam. If you're gonna have a pro athlete who has kids, why not just have his kids be in it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I thought for sure that those were gonna be his kids. Yeah, they, like just you know, cut out the middleman, then you don't have to pay him. You know, just be like, <laughs> be like oh, like take it up with your dad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm I'm really I'm horribly curious to see how this goes but uh yeah we'll find out in july but uh space jam uh what's it called a new frontier is that a new legacy new legacy uh, a new frontier left. i'll think it's star trek <laughs> my bad <laughs> you know what star trek's the one thing they didn't show <laughs> uh i actually i like my title better space jam that's the third one space jam a new frontier <laughs> The final frontier. The final frontier. But everyone, Space Jam and New Legacy. Um, what Easter eggs did you see? Because I saw, like I said, I paused this multiple times. I went, "Fuck, I'm still finding shit." But um, yeah, everyone, what did you think of the trailer? What What's your favorite Easter egg? For me, it's probably Space Ghost. 
Um, that that made me really happy. I'm like, that's right, they do own Space Ghost. Fuck, that's right. But uh, everyone, what did you think of the trailer? Let us know in the comments. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook at The Real Pineapple. Don't forget to like our gaming page, Real Pineapple Games, on Facebook as well. You can follow Scott on Twitter at Newman the First. You can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can find us on SoundCloud. Apple, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Amazon Music, to name a few places you can listen to The Real Pineapple. Uh, Thank you so much for listening, everyone. We'll have reviews up uh, this week for WandaVision. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, get that posted, as well as a review for The Father and The Courier. And, uh, God, I'm trying to think what else comes out. I don't think that... I wish that a movie schedule would just be a thing, you know, since everything's mm-hmm. switching dates right now. Um, we'll have uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong coming out soon, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. Um, but, everyone, thank you so much for listening. Please take care of each other. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Get your COVID shot. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.